In this video, I want to show you the new AI text generation feature of the Mega Pack. So once the Mega Pack is loaded, next to choose an option here, we want to select AI text generation and hit OK. Now, most of you probably know um, AI content generation from OpenAI's uh, chat GPT uh, or um, G. PT3 or, or some of the other image AI creation tools. This um, AI generator uses uh, GPT-J6B. So that has um, 6 billion parameters in it. So it is a lot smaller than um, obviously OpenAI's version. And it comes with the same sort of uh, risks, etc., as using any AI tool. And that is the content that you generate could be uh, stolen, it could be offensive, it could be all these different things. So you should always check the content that is created and never use as it is. So now I've got that out of the way, let's get to generating uh, some content. So the first option here is if we want to generate from a single prompt or we want to bulk create from multiple prompts. So first I'll show you a single prompt. So in here we can type in uh, whatever we want. Say for a story, once upon a time there was a dog called Mrs. Barker, who loved to bark at all the neighborhood cats. And then we've got our uh, settings here. So our first one is our temperature. So that can be between 0 0.1 and 1. So the smaller the value um, is random output and the larger will create repeating uh, phrases in the output. Our next one is our length. So the desired length of our text that it's going to generate. Uh, you can put in whatever you want here. Our next option here is our top P. And again, the smaller the value um, creates more random output and the larger value create repeating phrases. Again, this is between 0.1 and 1. And then finally is our top K. So we can have that as any value above 1. And this sorts potential output generations uh, by probability and only returns the top K likely outputs. I've preset these um, settings to one uh, ones that work well for me. Uh, but you may wish to have play with them and do research into each setting so you get a, a good understanding and in-depth understanding of how they work and how you might be able to utilize them yourself when making your own content. So once I've got my settings, I'm going to hit generate and then just wait for this to generate. Now, um, depending on the uh, length, this may take 60 seconds, two minutes, something around that time. So we're just going to wait for that to generate now. And then we have our result here. So you can, of course, just copy this and um, paste it into PowerPoint, Canva, your, any word processor software and go from there. And not only um, can it do sort of stories, it's same, similar with uh, chat 
GPG, uh, T, you can ask it anything you want. So how to remove background of an image using Python, hit generate. So as we can see here, it's taken what looks to be uh, something from the internet, but then it has some uh, code here that we could potentially try and use. And I mean, this just goes back to the point I made at the start that any content that it does generate, uh, you should always double check, etc., before using. So that's great. I've shown you how to, um, generate using a single prompt. But what you can also do, for example, is uh, bulk create um, from a list of prompts. So our first option is to choose the file where our prompts are located. So what this needs to be is a simple text file. And then we'll open that up. And then what we need to do is just one prompt per line. So once upon a time, there was a dog named Mrs. Barker who loved to bark. Hit return for our next one. Once upon a time, there was a cat named Mrs. Meow who loved to meow once upon a time there was a snake named Mr. Sliver who loved to slither and then just save that and then close that, and then back in the mega pack, we're gonna set that text file we just created. It's there. And then choose um, output folder. So I want them to output there. And then again, we have the same settings we had previously. Uh, we can change the temperature length, uh, the top P and the top K. So once you have your settings and you're happy with them, just hit bulk generate here. Now, depending on how many prompts you have, this could take quite a while, but what you can do is just leave the mega pack um, in the background working and get on with some other task and then come back to it later. So I'm gonna fast forward uh, this next bit uh, to the end point. So now our um, text generation is completed, hit OK. Then if I go to that uh, folder I selected earlier, 
You'll now see I have three text files for the uh, three prompts and each text file is named uh, prompt as I'm going to each one. You can say I've got my story about a cat named Mrs. Meow. My story about um, Mrs. Barco who loves to bark. And then my story about my snake named Mr. Sliver. So I hope this quick video helps you get started in playing around with the um, AI text generation feature of the Mega Pack. As I mentioned a couple times, do be extra careful with the content um, that it generates and have fun. Thanks for watching.